CIS Los Angeles is back with new all back to back episodes and we're all smiles this Sunday. See the team work to find a missing whistleblower set to testify against gun manufacturers who market to drug cartels and here to give us a preview of all the action is Daniela Rua and Eric Christian Olson. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, guys. Wow, that was LA. well titled. I think I should have you go on these all day for me. <laughs> right? We'll be Just a wrap. Show. Yeah, so of course. And <laughs> yeah, you don't need me. Well, first, we're so excited to have you both on. In addition to playing uh, a special agent, Kenzie uh, Blyl, uh, Daniela, can you tell us, uh, you know, you got a chance to direct as well. What was that like? Yeah, so this is the fourth episode I direct of the show, um, which I'm really happy that I got all that other experience because Eric is such a creative and powerful writer um, that I feel like I would have probably um, tripped up a few times had <laughs> it been my first. <laughs> but working with him... Um, so collaboratively and so it has been so incredibly fulfilling. Um, I learned a lot, you know, we, we communicate a bunch throughout the whole process as we should. Um, and, um, and his instinct in creating sort of scenes that are catered to each individual actor that he knows so well on this show um, has made everything really powerful, you know, and then bringing back Mercedes Mason, she's such a good friend of ours. So that was really fun to play D agent Talia Del Campo. Um, yeah, I think the audience is really going to like it. Yeah, but you go, girl, directing. Yes, yeah. and you're a power couple because, Eric, you wrote the episode mm -hmm. as well. And as we can see here, you're a ton of fun. What was your inspiration and what was it like just having creative control? Are you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> control? Like you talking so to me? Um, I, uh, actually, they did. They were great. They were super hands off. It's based on um, what's happening in real life, which is that the Mexican government is actively suing gun manufacturers uh, with using the marketing uh, strategy uh, because they're targeting cartels in Mexico. And it's something that we uh, that most Americans agree on, which is that nobody wants American guns in the hands of foreign criminals. And so we just. Uh, we brought on our characters to tackle some of these really complex problems, and and uh, it's it's I think it's uh, Danny did a great job. It's a it's a really heartfelt, uh, heartbreaking uh, episode. You know, I'm excited for everybody to see it. And I'm just over here fanning out as we're looking at some of the pictures <laughs> and video from the show. There, uh, both new episodes, by the way, air Sunday night. Uh, but are there any big moments that fans can expect without spoiling anything for us? <laughs> big moments. I mean. <laughs> Lots of big moments. Of big so moments. many big moments. That was the problem. They were like, there's too many big moments. You got to cut yeah. down some of these big moments. You got to be able to shoot it in seven days. I, I will say that um, that uh, that our actors really went all out um, in this episode. I think that our cast, especially our regular cast, it feels like they're really proud of us for taking these next steps in our career or parallel steps in yeah. our career. I don't know that Eric and I ever plan on leaving acting per se, but um, they it feels like they're very proud of us and so they're like what do you want me to do what do you need from me let's go all out on these scenes and i'm so incredibly incredibly impressed with um the talent of our actors and it's not that i didn't know it before because i've worked with them for 12 years but watching them on a little monitor and and sort of like tweaking things here and there not because i know better than them but because i'm watching on the monitor and i i can see what looks real <laughs> um and the, the fact that they've trusted Eric and I with these scenes um, in our specific departments, it's been such a pleasure. It really makes me want to keep going. Well, I'm probably, see, go ahead. You get to see Mac do A Few Good Men, like McGraney, <laughs> yeah. who's amazing. You get to see LL Cool J, uh, Todd Smith. He has this scene where he is preaching the truth, where he is, it's just yeah. like, I gave him a page of dialogue that he puts into the rhythm of, uh, I mean, he's he's incredible. There's some scenes in this show that we have not seen before um, from the actors that we love, and I think that's really exciting. We can't yeah. wait. I'm probably <laughs> dating myself, but you guys are the bomb.com. All that in a bag of chips. We love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so dating. We can bring that back. Uh, okay, right. we can bring it back. It's vintage. <laughs> <laughs> right, vintage. Thanks, guys. Good luck. We'll be watching. Thank, Thank you so much for having us. All right, you bet. And don't forget, <laughs> these two new episodes air Sunday night at 8 and 9 right here on CBS 2 and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. I just love it. He wrote it. She's directed. I know. That's and so cool. You know, I met them about 11 years ago when they were new to the show, just babies. Just and babies. I was about to say just babies. Leaving the nest, directing Aww. and writing. I'm so proud of them. And they've always been that much fun. That's They're so, so cool. cute, aren't they? Still humble. Aww.